The death toll from unrelenting western wildfires continues to climb. Officials have confirmed a firefighter was killed battling a wildfire in San Bernardino National Forest. Overnight, about 50 miles northeast of Los Angeles, the wind-driven bobcat fire reduced some homes to ashes. There were no injuries there. Increasing numbers of residents are being ordered out of the area, though, as the fire continues to spread. Twelve states in the west are battling major wildfires. Lilia Luciano is in Los Angeles County, where more than 1,300 firefighters have spent grueling hours battling that fire alone. Lilia, good morning. Good morning to you, Jeff. That's right. There are firefighters here from across the country, from Illinois to Michigan to Kentucky to New Mexico, all helping local crews fight these flames, which started on September 6th, but they don't expect will be fully contained until the end of the month. Relentless wildfires continue to burn all along the West. As winds picked up in Southern California, a dozen homes were seen burning Friday afternoon in the foothills northeast of Los Angeles, forcing even more residents out. I had everything ready to rip, so I'm going. At least 35 people have died in Oregon, Washington, and California, and the search for the missing continues. 3.5 million acres have burned in California alone. Outside Los Angeles, the El Dorado fire, started by botched pyrotechnics at a gender reveal party, turned deadly Thursday when the blaze killed a firefighter. It's so heartbreaking. You just pray something like this doesn't happen. A solemn procession Friday as crews escorted the body of one of their own out of the fire zone. The family responsible for starting the blaze is cooperating with authorities. Near Salem, Oregon, residents were allowed to return home, but the fire there, nearly 200,000 acres, may burn through Halloween. And after two weeks of historic fires in Washington... It's the state's worst nightmare. Over 56 fires in the first day of Labor Day and 600,000 acres burned in literally 72 hours. That's five times the amount of acres that burned in all of 2019. Rain is finally helping turn the tide. It is great to see rain behind us. I'm going to tell you, uh, every day I pray for rain. And rain is welcome all along the West. But on top of dealing with these historic wildfires and the poor air quality that comes with the smoke, last night Los Angeles woke up after 11.30 p.m. to a 4.5 magnitude earthquake that many, including myself, have described as the most violent shaking we felt in a long time. Michelle? Oh, Lilia, I've been through that. I understand the West Coast needs a break. Thank you so much.